हेलो स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ निकिता पाटिल फ्रॉम इन्फो डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सिक्योरिटी कॉलेज पनवेल टुडेज अवर टॉपिक विल बी इंट्रोडक्शंस टू ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स सो कोर्स कंटेंट्स विल बी व्हाट इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स व्हाट आर इट्स की फंक्शंस एंड द इवेल्यूशन ऑफ ओएस सो फर्स्ट व्हाट इज द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सी व्हाट इज कॉम्प्यूटर सिस्टम द कॉम्प्यूटर सिस्टम इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हार्डवेयर प्लस सॉफ्टवेयर then what is software software is a application software plus system software so an operating system is a system software that acts as an intermediary or interface between the users of a computers and the computer hardware so operating what are the goals of the operating system first is execute user programs and make solving user problems easier make the computer system convenient to use use the computer hardware in an efficient manner so here the operating system modes diagram represents the operating system modes the first is the user modes is and concerns with an actual interface between the users and the systems uh, it controls things like running applications acts upon files the kernel mode is concerns with everything running in the backgrounds okay so it controls things like accessing system resources controlling hardware functions and processing the program instruction so uh, system calls are used to change mode for users to the kernels so what is a system calls so system calls is the programmatic way in which a computer programs or users applications request to a particular services from the kernels of the operating systems on which it is executed so application program is just a user process due to security reasons user applications are not giving access to privileged resources the ones controlled by the operating systems so when they need to do and input output or have some more memory or span a processor or wait for single interpret it request operating system to facilitates all this these requests it's made through system calls so system call are nothing but are called as a software interpreters okay so these are the the diagram represent the functions of operating systems in today's session we have seen only two functions of operating system that is process management and memory management rest of the others are present in the next sessions okay so first is process management so process management is a programs in a executions a process needs certain resources including cpu time memory files and input output devices to accomplish its tasks simultaneously execution leads to multiple processes hence creations executing and terminating of a process are the most basic functions of the operating systems so if a processor are dependent then they may try to share same resources the tasks of the processors Uh, synchronously concerns to the picture so if a process are independent then a due care needs to the taken to avoid their overlapping in the memories area based upon the priority it is important to allow more important process to the second will be process so second will be memory managements okay so memory is a large array of words or bytes each with its own address so it is a repository of quickly accessible data shared by the cpu and input device main memory is a volatile storage device when the computers made turn off everything stores in the ram will easier automatically in addition to the physical ram installed in your computer most modern operating systems allows you compared to a virtual memory system virtual memory allows your comp compute to use part of the permanent storage device such as a hard disk or a extra memory so the operating system is responsible for the following activities to concerns with the memory management first of all keep track of which part of memory are currently being used and by them decide which process to load when memory space becomes available allocate the deallocates memory space is needed thank you